Hello friends. Today I want to show you the lizard habitat that I made. Um, this is all the way up. Let's see the top there. You're hearing my parrot in the background. I'm sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to bring you in closer. Okay. These two guys I got at one of our local dollar stores for you get a pack, you get 10 of them for a buck. They have several species. They're just little hard rubber guys and they come with suction cups on them. So I snipped out the suction cups and, you know, I, I normally buy them for one of my parrots to chew on. He likes to have little hand toys. But I wanted to use some of them for a real purpose because they're, they're adorable. And down here are two little spiders I made for them to feed off from. Those, I'm going to get you real close so you can really see what I'm talking about here. It'll clear up. They are um, silk flower centers. Tilt it up here, maybe you can see. There you go. It's the the black center of a daisy type flower, and then the legs are the I don't know if they're the stamens or what you call them that surround that. And I just popped them both out, and the stamens part I took and turned upside down, and I snipped away all of them except for the eight legs, and then just glued them together quick. They make nice little fuzzy spiders. And I made them an ant. That's just beads and wire. Pretty simple. You lo I loaded the beads onto a head pen and uh, glued them on. And then I just wrapped some wire in between for the legs and the antenna. And here is their little water feature. I if I can get you to see inside. There's a little pool in there. Maybe if I tip it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. The little water feature. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That water is made with um, Aline's Tacky Glue. And, uh, you know, I just... I, laid down strips on a surface where it would peel off easily, let it dry, glued it onto these stones, and uh, then just, you know, added glue on top of it to make it appear like it's running water. And it, it you know, it, it does get bubbly. You wouldn't probably wouldn't want to use this for still water feature, but I thought it worked fine for this. I mean, lizards got to have something to drink, right? I put a little moss around it, and the stones I glued together with these 6,000. Um, silk flowers, the leaves off silk flowers. The base here is made out of, believe it or not, Italian sauce seasoning. It was given to us. I will not cook with it because it has MSG in it, and I will not use that in my food. But it makes a great ground cover. Shh, Murphy. And there's some more leaves. And the vine feature, I got that off <clears throat> a long garland I got. I wanted it to look as jungle as possible in there. And those are just some sticks from the windstorm. And some more leaves. I don't know. <clears throat> don't know if you can get a clear view of that. There you go. That ceiling and each. Oh, I'm sorry about that glare. Let me go over here. And each side wall. That's just um. 
cup carriers, egg cartons uh, to just glue down, you know, ripped off into pieces to look like stone and then just glue down. Super simple and very effective, even though you can't really see it because it's all pretty much covered up. These little pebbles, I got those in good sized bags at the dollar store. They're real pretty. They got pinks and browns and whites and quartz and it, you know, it, it did make the feature a bit heavy, but it also made it very stable. So I'll, I'll take the heaviness for the stability. Okay, now the glass, let's see if you can hear it. That's acrylic. That is a 0 0.20 mil heavy heavy crafting plastic. And what I did was I took balsa wood and I just figured out the size I wanted to make it look like an aquarium and uh, just cut it, painted it. And I did it on the inside of these corners and on the outside for stability. The only glue I found that would really stick this well was um, hot glue. Everything else wanted to peel right off. And I did not want to try the E6000 stuff because that can cloud when it gets in an enclosed area. I've had it happen before. So I, I just stuck with the hot glue and it's really, really holds it tight. I tried, I had to take it apart once because I made a mistake and trust me, it was not an easy thing to do. Okay, I'm just going to sit you down for a second. I have to turn this. bark on the outside. Sun's going down. It's starting to get a little dark in here. I hope you can see that okay. There we go. And there's more acrylic right here. So you can see on both sides. The back. Burnt brown. But, um, not burnt. It's just brown paper bag. You rip out the pieces, crumple it up, lay it onto a layer of glue, put some glue on over it. Gives a nice leather effect. You can paint it if you choose. I chose to just leave it plain. Sorry, that's a cord for the lights. I barked the top, oh, part of the top. Something just fell. And here's the other side. Same thing. Okay. So it looks pretty cool. Now I want to explain the top to you. I'm going to flip it down here. Now, this top was the back of a cheap picture frame the you know the the yeah the board that comes on the back of the picture frame is that simple and you can see you know these I, I scored the edges so that it would bend easily I left this hanger piece on because it makes a nice handle to open it um, this is cardboard and these are just the skinny sticks same thing on this side now inside I have also put the acrylic and some skinny sticks I didn't bother painting them because they're not seen at all unless you open up the light section and I left that I don't want to open it too far because it'll blind you but they're, they are Christmas lights, clear Christmas lights. I think there's 
15 or 20 on that strand. The reason I chose that is LEDs just did not light up the aquarium well enough for my taste. And, you know, I, I left it open because you know, maybe in the future the bulbs will need to be changed. But the inside, you can see I lined that with aluminum foil. And I, I have two reasons for that. One was obviously for the reflection. It gives a tremendous reflection and helps a great deal with the lighting. And the, the other reason was to pr help protect the cardboard because these, you know, they don't get hot, hot, but they do get a bit warm. No big deal, really, but just for safety's sake. There you go. You can see I put some aluminum foil strapping alongside, and I did wire the cord of these lights so that they would stay where I wanted them to stay so I didn't have to glue them down because you never know when a bulb's going to blow or even a fuse. So, and as you can see that top stays as soon as I get it in there, there that stays right in, nice in place. There's a little bit of light leakage, but barely any at all. And I'm, um, you know, I, I made this to sell, but as I was making it, I got a few little scuff marks on the, there you go. I wasn't careful enough making it, and I got a few scuff marks on the, the acrylic. So it's got to live here now. I can't sell it like that. I guess people probably wouldn't appreciate it. But other than that, I can't tell you how happy I am with it. It's, you know, the the uh, the aquarium. There you go. The aquarium itself is just cardboard box. It was one of the thicker boxes. I'm sorry, that's got to focus. It's one of the thicker boxes, and uh, it did not have the flaps on it. So I didn't have to worry about that. Which So with them being folded down, it made for a real, real sturdy box. And then with the addition of the glues and the bark and all that, this thing's going nowhere. And it was super cheap to make. Um... The only thing I had to buy was the acrylic. I had everything else already here. Um, maybe a little bit of glue. No big deal. So, oh, get a full shot. That's what it looks like, full shot. I hope you like it. I hope I gave you some ideas. Okay, this is Sophie's Choice signing off. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.